The flowers of summer are fading fast as we head into a very exciting fall. I am Reverend Tom Kearns. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. And this fall has a lot of crazy aspects, and here is what they mean for your sign. The month begins as Pluto goes direct. Pisces, Pluto continues his slow and powerful changes in your 11th house of associations. Social and business groups can play an important role in our lives, but now you must examine why you join certain groups and how your association with other people has improved your life. Do you experience positive growth and reinforcement, or are they a drain on your spirit? Be bold in your approach to social interactions. If a group doesn't live up to your standards or its own truth, change it or leave it. Venus goes retrograde on October 5th. Pisces, Venus retrograde in your ninth house of understanding suggests you reevaluate how your beliefs connect you to other people. You may be frustrated by narrow or shallow people who are blinded by inflexible beliefs. Did your education teach you how to think or what you were, were you told what to believe? Education, legal, and travel pursuits may have to be delayed for a little time so you can prepare for future success. Mercury squares Mars on October 19th. Pisces, Mercury transiting your ninth house of the higher mind energizes your ambitions. Your ability to learn new ideas and concepts grow. <laughs> Keep your mind open to travel and attend a class in a new subject. Focus on your goals. However, the square to Mars in your 12th house of limitations can overstimulate your imagination. Don't be fearful, be logical. This is a good time to clean out the psychological closet and feel renewed. Yoga and meditation and prayer can help. The Sun opposes Uranus on October 23rd. Pisces, the Sun in your ninth house of understanding, opposite Uranus in the third house of intellect, is a disruptive and a willful energy. Balance must be maintained between your beliefs and the ideals of others. Beliefs are powerful, and they can lead to war and hatred. Just look at the history and mistrust between different cultures and religions. But conflict occurs between people. Watch your ego when dealing with new people. Understanding creates peace and prosperity. So present your ideas with simple simplicity and try to understand theirs. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. Please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends because it's free. And if you'd like to know more about your own astrology chart, just go to my website, professorastrology.com, and there you can register for a chart. For a natal or birth chart, all you need is your time, date, and place of birth, and all the information is on my private readings page. So, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you'll subscribe and have a great month.